Hey, welcome back to Heli Cool's Helipad, and I'm your host, Dave Anderson. Hey, today uh, we're going to be building uh, on a stave that I uh, recently posted, um, a Boy Scout stave, probably uh, circa 1940s, or possibly even earlier than that, maybe 1920s. Uh, well, anyway, these are the mods that I made with my stave, and like everything else, uh, you kind of want to make it a little bit your own and have your own flavor, your own taste. Just like the Moro knife, you want to be able to do some mods that look cool and that are also, and most importantly, useful in the field. So for bug out and for just plain walking around, this stave will do. All right, now here's a variation of the uh, style that I've come up with. I have um, tacks up to 24 inches, um, and on the right side, there is a tack every foot. And on the left side, there is a tack every six inches. So it's a little bit... Uh, better design feature I think to give you a little bit more points um, so I'm, I'm really kind of liking it here's another issue that you might run across you think hey maybe this uh, this type of 550 cord will go well with the wrap that I've chosen and then you put it on there and you go wow that really doesn't look very good and a nice thing about a Turk said knot and tying it this way, you can just slip this thing right off and you can put a different color on there. Which uh, I'm just going to hold on to this, obviously, just because if I ever uh, do a, a, a stave that has this kind of wrap or closer to it that looks better together, I'll just add it. This is another fairly simple modification. Uh, you look see this is uh, just a inner tube. It's probably of a mountain bike It's a little bit bigger than the 10 speed inner tubes uh, But this is what you would call a ranger band and uh, I'm also going to slide this on here um, Because ranger bands are great for uh, holding articles onto Your pole just by slipping them under the ranger band and I'm going to put a ferrule rod and maybe a, a couple other things on here but uh, this, because it's a, a uh, mountain bike inner tube, it goes on there a little bit easier. That and it has the powder on the inside. It goes on there a little easier than, let's say, a 10-speed uh, inner tube, which you'd probably almost never got on there. This, it's just too small, so this will fit just right. only place that I'm having a little bit of issue is right where I have three tacks so this will fit right in between because it's about five inches or so long it fits right in between any of the tacks here so above the 24 count and below where the six inch uh, tab would be this would be 24 this would be a 30 inch mark so right in there is, is the best place that I want for it yeah right up here I'm gonna have my uh, fishing line this is a ferrule rod. I didn't make the ferrule rod, but I made the handle. Um, I got a whole bunch of these. Uh, oh, they were just two and a half inch, three inch uh, rods that I got online. A whole bunch of them for next to nothing. And this is just a three quarter inch dowel. And I just took it on the belt sander and sanded one side. It's got a little bit of a curve to it because I put it on uh, this belt sander and put it on the edge just like this and made the curve you don't have to do this you could just uh, get a regular old ferrule rod um, that's pre-made but that's what i'm going to put underneath this rubber band as my modification to my stave <laughs> well this is uh what you do with a morrow knife with some ranger bands you can uh, start modifi modifying it. And I'm actually going to uh, take this 
this uh, throwing knife off of here. Now, why a throwing knife? Well, because you can easily take a stab and put a throwing knife on it, and all of a sudden now you have a spear. Um, and uh, so this is a, it's just a good tool to have when you're, when you have a stick or even a knife, uh, you can easily uh, cut some, a limb down that's straight and uh, modify it and make it into a spear. But I'm actually going to use this one. Uh, it actually says, remember them on the back of it because I had a set of three of these and some guys that worked for me uh, that are, were really some fantastic guys very special to me um, I ended up uh, resigning uh, from that position because it was just time for me to move on and uh, I gave the other two fellas some one of the knives each and both of them says remember me and and I have one that says remember them uh, two fine gentlemen um, former military just some great memories with this. So I'm gonna add this to my stave. Well, on the back side, I was able to incorporate a compass. And uh, I mean, it's, it's not a great compass, but uh, I've tested it does have a bubble inside, but if you get to the bubble on top, um, it actually works pretty good. And in a pinch, uh, it'll get you there. And then I also incorporated a sewing needle on the back side of where my ferrule rod is. And this is a very robust sewing needle. Uh, I think you could actually sew with a a uh, inner piece that's uh, in that 550 cord. All right, so the Turk's head knot is done, and I left quite a bit left over here so I could tie it wherever I wanted to. Of course, this does move. Um, I added a bear bell. You know, the difference between uh, grizzly scat and black bear scat is that uh, grizzly scat will actually contain bells because well this is like a dinner bell for them um, I did get this mounted and lastly I uh, added this little emergency light and when it's really dark this ought to be able to light up quite a bit can't really see but that's a red and then steady red and then white steady white and then of course flashing back and forth and then off but uh, I mean, when it's really dark, you ought to be able to see pretty good with that. Like I said, it's just for emergency only. And then I added uh, quite a bit of fishing line. It's totally, it's about six inches or so wrapped around this pole. So that ought to be um, quite substantial. Just two more things to go and I'll be done. But already this stave is got some girth to it that is more than than just a simple tool that's I mean this this thing is practically a weapon now um, so yeah you could probably uh, fend off an angry coyote at least with this I wouldn't go up against a mountain lion or anything but I'd go with a coyote no problem I added a modification of these two uh, eyelets and uh, basically speaking these two eyelets uh, become part of a fishing pole um, where they hold the line so instead of just hooking it to the end hook you can actually attach a reel down at this end and that's the one of the last things is I'm going to do is actually I'm going to put a couple of uh, pipe clamps that uh, have um, twist ends to them so I don't need a screwdriver but uh, that'll be able to hold a fishing reel I'll just use these eyelets here to do all the fishing just just run the line down through it and uh, 
and ha actually having a reel attached and I'll just carry the reel in my uh, my go bag um, so it should be able to attach really really well down here and the last thing is this area here that has the um, fishing line I want to put some bank line on there uh, I don't have the bank line yet I'm gonna have to order it but bank line is really good because it doesn't rot and you can use it to spin a drill for a friction fire because it's very robust and it doesn't rot anyway that's gonna go right over the top of that that's the last two modifications that I have and this this staff is going to uh, serve me very well uh, for several years to come Hi, this is Dave Anderson, the Helicool Helipad. I pretty much have the stave done. Now, stave is a old English word um, for staff. They basically mean the exact same thing. Um, but uh, it's pretty well done now. And uh, actually, I just have a, just one or two items to put on there. I'll put those on right at the end and uh, show you the stave. Um, says stave in the uh, old Boy Scout uh, patrol drawing, uh, which probably was done in the, I'm going to guess, uh, late 40s, around in that area. But uh, So the word stave and the word staff basically mean the same thing. Just stave is more of an old English word. Uh, so this stave is uh, more than just a walking stick. It's practically now a weapon. But uh, I think it'll come in handy uh, for bugging out or any other purposes that you might have for it. Throw it uh, this way. I'm going to bat it right out of the park with this Dave. And uh, maybe I can get, get some, uh, catch some fish or some other things with it uh, to show its usefulness. But that's for a whole nother video. If you like these kinds of videos, uh, please uh, please subscribe. I got a 50 miler coming up, so this stave will come in pretty handy. Um, got a bug up my nose. He flew right up my nose. Sorry, sorry. These eyelets here. Focus, man. Focus on it. Thank you. If you like videos like this, uh, please support this channel and subscribe, share it, comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you like. Hey, leave a comment to see uh, what exactly that uh, you want to tell me what you want. Let me know and uh, I'll put it on there and uh, make sure that happens.